Yo, what is good, yo? It's your boy Ty back here with another video. And in this video today, as you guys can see, we did just grind for a pink diamond Emmanuel quickly. Now, I've spent probably not too long, probably an hour, an hour and a half grinding for the card. As you guys can see, not too hard of a grind. You just have to win 20 triple threat offline games. And I did just complete that right now. Now, by the time you guys see this video, there's going to be not very much time left. So hopefully this gameplay can be the determining factor whether you make that quick grind for quickly or not. But before we dive into a manual quickly, if you are new to my channel and have not yet, please consider smashing that subscribe button as we are on the road to 60,000 subscribers. And triple threat offline for me, it's a decent enough grind because while I was grinding for it, I got a diamond Katsubo's pack. I didn't get Danny Ferry. Uh, as you guys obviously know, but you guys can see the Diamond Consumables pack right there. And a lot of people say there's a 50-50 chance of a Diamond Consumables pack or Danny Ferry. Now, I do not believe that at all. I don't believe that because if that was the case, I feel like I, feel like I would know because I get a ton of Diamond Consumables packs here. Uh, but we're going to open up Emmanuel quickly and, and just see what he's working with. Because I remember when the card came out, but I don't really remember his stats, badges, anything like that. But I will say my point guard position isn't necessarily the strongest. So... Hopefully, Pink Diamond Emmanuel quickly can, you know, make an impact and help my situation out just a little bit. Looking at Pink Diamond Emmanuel quickly, here, six foot three, 190 pounds, 95 three ball, 85 driving dunk, 94 ball handle. Defensively, 90 steel, 90 perimeter, 94 speed, speed ball acceleration, as well as a 94 lateral quickness. Now, interior wise, not great. 51 block, 67 interior, not a great rebounder. But at the same time, I mean, on the perimeter he's absolutely incredible 85 driving dunk tendency defensive tendencies are pretty solid through and through 95 pass interception on ball steal tendency as well as an 85 contest shot tendency 27 all the fame badges catch and shoot accurate relentless finisher dimer pig dodger clamps intimidator consistent finisher contact finisher pro touch slithery handles for days quick first step tie handles unfuckable dead eye flexible hot start range extender hall of fame floor general and volume shooter 26 on gold corner specialist, ankle breaker, pick pocket, hard crusher, interceptor. Does come with Tyler's defender, bailout, stop and go, hot zone hunter, as well as slippery off ball. Badge you might look to give him, maybe rim protector, chase down, artist, rebound, chaser, post move, lockdown. Definitely look to give him showtime, uh, obviously on current gen, because that is a very important badge. But other than that, Emmanuel quickly comes pretty complete. A lot of how good Emmanuel quickly is is gonna be is gonna really come down to his release. I, I that's ultimately what it's gonna come down to because dribbling he's gonna be just fine. Obviously he's got pro too. You know he's gonna be able to move and groove. It's just gonna come down to that release. Which I would say the first jump shot I took with him it just kind of reminds me of the Clyde Drexler release. Now I don't know if it is the exact same release as Clyde or not, but that's just kind of what it reminds me of. Has kind of the same the same uh kind of release as cloud i would say it, it's probably not the same but that's just kind of who i'd compare it to on current gen again i don't think it is the same release because they are just a little bit different but pretty smooth jump shot i will say it is definitely very very smooth i feel like it's going to be easy to time as well and you know he does have incredible shooting badges as well as an incredible three ball so that's going to help with kind of the green percentage as we go as well so obviously in the half court he's going to be able to move and groove what's his full court dribble sigs look like has the pro three moving behind the back. Tween's not incredible, but pro three moving behind the back is definitely a bonus, at least for guys like me who, you know, that's probably the most important or my favorite dribble sig, at least, to use in the full court setting outside of the boost. The boost, or the, yeah, the speed glitch being in the game, obviously, you know, that is kind of game changing. But at least on next gen, you guys will, you guys will see, because I'll do shit around on next gen too, you guys will see how effective that pro three can be. Looking at Pink Diamond Emmanuel quickly here and shoot around, we'll be able to tell on next and kind of how he moves now nah, again okay he's got he's got he's he's in my opinion he moves pretty well on next gen like just kind of my initial brief movement with him feels pretty good again i don't really play on next gen like that so that's kind of part of the unknown for me but i mean release wise again very very smooth on next gen and again i don't really move that well on next gen in general so it's kind of hard to tell but i mean i feel like as far as point guards and movement wise in the half court he moves pretty well. Like compared to some of the other guys I've used, I feel like Emmanuel quickly is up there, you know, with point guards as far as release wise, as far as movement wise, considering he's only 6'3". Release wise, I would say pretty smooth, pretty easy to easy to time, easy to green on next gen at least. Uh, and even on current gen, I felt like his release was very, very smooth. On next gen, I just feel like it's so, so quick. So it's going to take a little bit of getting used to. But 
Definitely an easy release to time, an easy release to green. Looking at my opponent here, Juan Carlos Navarro, DeMar DeRozan, Kawhi Jokic, and Wes Unsell. He is running a five-man, so we, you guys know how I feel about those. But Emmanuel quickly won. Should be a pretty decent enough matchup because... I mean, I don't really have to put him on the shooting guard or small forward. We'll see what Emmanuel quickly is about. I mean, he's a pretty easy enough grind. Like, it's just over an hour to get Emmanuel quickly. So, that's not a bad grind at all if you choose. Okay, I'm not pressing, bro. Yeah, imagine me not just sitting on that. Oh, my goodness. That's good defense. I can't really be too mad. Come back here. Come here. To the cup. Back to Cat. And that's the thing, right? He committed two bodies to Emmanuel quickly. I didn't get that one to go. But that's the that's the nice thing about having Cat, you know, playing with quickly as well. What am I watching you try to do here? Oh, yeah, quickly over to Malik. I'm not going to force nothing. I'm not going to force anything with Emmanuel quickly. That's a great pass over to Malik for a green lay. Oh, yeah, let's see the defense, Emmanuel. I see how he's playing, though. I see it. It's, it's pretty difficult to put into words how disgusted I am. It's offensively, I'll figure it out. It's just annoying because he's just pressed up. He's pressed up into me, and I haven't really gotten any sort of separation so far so that's been the annoying thing but the good thing about it is i got all game to figure it out emmanuel quickly will figure it out he's got good stats badges and so i know all i gotta do is figure it out thank you to the cup that's what i'm saying he's just on balling me trying to you know prevent me from getting a three so that's fine four thank you cat come on there it is. Yeah. Uh -oh. Perfect. Oh, there it is. That release is butter, man. You, I ain't gonna lie. You're looking. You're starting to look a little tough. Bro, some of his rotations are just weird. Like, what am I watching? I'm I'm a cheese ball. You know what I'm saying? I'm I'm a cheese ball. I'm gonna get a bucket any way I can. All right, let's let's get a bucket. I'm gonna get you a break here because I know you're tired, but I need you to get a bucket for me. Bro, do you not? I know he has to come with handles for days. He's just extremely tired right now. And a lot of the reason he's tired is because I'm getting pressed up by one every single possession. Like he's just trying to get it out of his hands. Again, to the cup. It's just too easy. Right now, he doesn't have showtime. All right, Emmanuel, give me a bucket, and then you can go get a rest, bro. Just give me one last bucket here. Thank you. That's a great pass. Obi, I need one. I need one, Obi. My second unit, led by Lamella Ball, got me back into the game. Emmanuel got a little bit of a rest. Like, he got enough in which he should be just fine. The big thing that I'm noticing is he's just trying to prevent me shooting threes more than anything. Like... That's kind of what his goal is right now. Oh, yeah, man. That's a Thank you. I was finna say. I just got hacked right there. Oh, yeah. Should be green. Thank you. All right, come on. Like, I mean, objectively, Emmanuel quickly hasn't played that well. So, know what he wants. Good defense. Thank you. We know what he wants. That's great defense. Oh, my goodness. He just slid me so badly. Good thing he missed. Come on. Like. What am I watching to him to do defensively? Like he's just sending bodies, sending way too many bodies. I'm, I don't have time for it. I'm gonna I'm make the right play. I know your tendencies. I know the tendencies, bro. Oh, bro, he had me crab too. Curry coming. Come on, man. Come on, I'm just sitting on you. You're sus. You know me. Come here. Oh man, that's a good move. Come here, back to him. Like I said, what in the, bro? That's an easy, it should have been an easy layup. And y'all made it so, so difficult, bro. Or rebound the ball. Thank you quickly. Just chill, just chill. Let's just go to halftime. 
Looking at the halftime box score here for Emmanuel quickly, 14 points, one rebound, five, two assists. I say he hasn't played well. I mean, he hasn't even missed a shot though. A lot of it for me so far is the eye test, right? Has he been as good as I thought he would be? And that's just the thing. He hasn't been great, but he hasn't been, oh my goodness, why did I not shoot it? That's me. That's really my fault, man. Back to Cat. One more. Good possession. It's not even about Emmanuel quickly. It's about winning the game. I should have taken the first three with quickly. I thought he was going to come up with, with me, but it is what it is. I just need to win the game. Curry slide coming. Yep. Great defense, Emmanuel. That's, that's great D. somebody come here thank you to the cup and that's what i'm saying i just need to take what he gives me he's giving me the two basically every possession trying so hard to limit my three-point opportunities and that's fine i just need to take what he gives me up to emmanuel there it is hey another slam uh oh he's up to 18 points we've extended the lead to 10 points uh oh you love to see it no way bored i was gonna say he don't got any momentum right now come on quickly you know what to do with it you that's got to be green, Ty. That's me. That's got to be green. Good shot, Emmanuel. Uh-oh. Up 13. The lead just really skyrocketed like that. Oh, yeah. He's playing defense, too. Oh, yeah. That's good defense. He's playing defense right now, too. I love to see it. Uh-oh. 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 Patience. That's a great shot. That's good patience. I like the shot, Emmanuel. I ain't gonna lie. I know you're tired, but I like the shot. Oh my goodness. That's green. Good shot, my boy. I feel like Emmanuel quickly gets tired so fast, too. Now, I know I dribble a lot with him, but I feel like he's just getting exhausted so fast. Come on. You can't leave Obi. He's got high range. Come on. You gotta know better than that. Oh yeah, Emmanuel. We're here. We're here. Yes, good defense. Go get the ball. Go get it, Big Cat. Hey! Live up to Big Cat. We were up 15 now. And where was this in the first half? Like, I felt like in the first half, I was just in a box. It's a kill. Yes, sir, Emmanuel. Go get that three bag for me. You got a sharp badge. Uh-oh. Do what you got to do. Because you're not stopping Emmanuel. What in the... Back to him. Reset. Good reset. I like it. I love it. I love it. I love it. I love it. Look at Emmanuel quickly. He's got it going here in this second half. He's getting it going with Juan Carlos Navarro, too, though. I mean... It's just, we're just going back and forth. No stops being had. Can you just back up? Bro, all right. I mean, I'm like I said, I'm not going to be selfish. You want to send a double team, that's fine. I'll green a three with Obi. I'm getting a stop here. I'm tired of watching him. That's over and back. Thank you. Yeah, go ahead. Go ahead and do your thing. I mean, my man's, what did he miss? Two shots, had 27 points. He was hooping. When it comes down to it, guys, the grind for Emmanuel quickly is not bad. It's not bad at all. He's only 6'3". And his player model, it honestly looks like he's not even 6'3". Like, his player model is not very long at all. And, and I don't mind Emmanuel quickly at all. I really don't mind him at all. It's just, in an era with all tall point guards, it's tough. It's definitely tough. And, and to, even, even when you compare, let's say, Emmanuel quickly to Tyrese Halburn, it's tough for me to sit here and honestly tell you guys Emmanuel quickly is better than Tyrese. Because I just firmly, I don't believe it. I think Tyrese Halburn... Overall, is better than Emmanuel Quickly. But with that being said, if you're a Knicks fan or if you like Emmanuel Quickly or even if you're looking for a good budget point guard or a free point guard, Emmanuel Quickly is not bad. He's more than usable in NBA 2K21. And I mean, I only grinded an hour for the card, so I can't really be bad. I hope you guys did enjoy the video. Drop a like on the video. Subscribe if you are new. And as always, man, I love you guys and have a blessed day.